Yahshua. Father, we thank and we praise you for the grace that you've given us. Father, we thank and we praise you for this day. Father, give us strength to finish this mural. Father, I give us the wisdom and know-how and the skill to finish this mural. Father, I we thank and we praise you that all involved in this project are going to be blessed. Father, I we call this city acknowledging the great thing that's taking place at the firehouse. Father, I we thank and we praise you, Father, for the blessing that's upon Brother Abraham and the blessing upon myself. And Father, we say that, Father, you brought us together for a plan and a purpose to glorify your name and to glorify your son in Yahshua's name. Amen. My career as an artist began at a very young age. Um, my father, he worked on Wall Street in New York as an accountant, and he would bring these stacks of copy paper home from the office, and he and my brother Pat would just sit at the kitchen table and draw all night. Now, my brother, he was gifted, but um, um, at that point, I wasn't very interested, but I was very impressed with his skill. But I wasn't serious about it. I was just basically just trying to keep up. But when I got into high school, everything changed. I knew that this is what I wanted to pursue and become. And uh, the thing that urged my decision was my brother Pat. Now, like I said, uh, Pat was always gifted, and he went on to study at the North School of Fine and Industrial Arts. While there, you know, he hooked up with some graffiti writers, and he would bring his book home, and um, his style was like crazy. It was tight. He was doing this, he was just doing some awesome graffiti. And I was like, yo, you got to teach me how to rock letters, man. And I was constantly on him, constantly. And uh, eventually he took me under his wing and, um, and mentored me. He called himself Mr. Nass. Um, I had a few names at that time, too. And then I settled on OZ, and that stuck. Uh, he was doing, like, big walls and tagging everywhere, and, and kids were beginning to take notice. And we would have... We would have to, like, you know, sneak out, like, 2 in the morning, and I would be his lookout while he worked. Now, a lot of folks would argue that, oh, well, this wasn't art, you know, this graffiti, what is it? It's criminal, you're defacing public property, but, you know, we didn't see it that way. In our minds, we were legitimate artists. Mind you, we were living in Scotch Plains, so most of the work uh, that took place was in Plainfield, the next town over, but we were starting to get a rep. Um, we started doing jackets, shirts. Everybody wanted some graffiti. Everybody wanted some graph art. And uh, we started making money. And then we hooked up with some other writers in the area and uh, even had our own crew. And I knew for sure that this is what I wanted to be. Um, I took every art class I could think of in high school. And um, I had some awesome art teachers. And um, the principles that they taught me stuck with me to this day. I went on to graduate from Art Institute of Philadelphia in 89, and here we are today. If I was to describe my art, I would say that it's a blend of pop culture and spirituality. Um, I try to find the spiritual angle to everything I do, but everything I do is not religious in nature. My, my job as an artist is to make art that is a bridge between the natural and the spiritual world. And hopefully where those two worlds meet, there can be dialogue. And um, I believe that art has the power to change our world. And, and I love projects that impact our environment. Uh, I believe that the most important aspect of any work of art is the process uh, in, in which the artist comes to the end result. And to me, Art sums up my life. It's about failure. It's about success. It's about finishing and starting all over again. But to me, most importantly, art is ministry. And um, I'm just so thankful that I can use my gift for a purpose greater than myself.
The second most um, significant emotional event in my life was meeting Bishop Purnell. He sat under my uncle's ministry, Pastor Herb Green of um, North Gospel Tabernacle, and I learned this after we had already started the ministry. But I met him over a phone call. Um, my friend Jason had given him my number, and he calls me up one day out of the blue and starts praying for me. That prayer changed my life. And you have to understand, uh, this is about 1996, and I was ready to throw in the towel with my art. You know, I had, I had, I had some disappointments, and uh, I had a fire that um, um, I had lost all my artwork. Just, just all kinds of things was uh, taking place, and um, I just thought my art career was going down south. But um, he prayed. And he spoke some things that resonated with me and gave me the hope that I needed to give up, to, to not give up. And I wouldn't be walking in this blessing right now if it wasn't for Bishop and his family. It was uh, through the ministry that I found the purpose of my art. And uh, I believe that I've been chosen to build a great arts movement in the body of Christ. Daddy... It's an artist, and I just want us to just talk a little about it, okay? So, I was thinking about, about Daddy's art, and his art really speaks to me. It is really beautiful, light, and if you put it light, you can turn Some of the things that I like uh, about my father's artwork is that it's very colorful, it's detailed, it's uh, very elaborate. Um, it's not like, it's not like art that you have to, that you have to ask the artist what it means. You will actually get, um, your, you will get a, a perspective immediately from it. And it's different. It's not, um, like everybody, everyone else's artwork you see. Like, it's different. He has his own style. He brings, um, definitely his background and his culture and our family's culture into it. So it's it's cool the way he brings everything in. I think it's really cool that somebody can draw, like be able to like come up with all these ideas and then just sketch it out on paper. It's like, for me, I mean, I can draw, but I, I can't do all that. So it's, I think it's awesome. Uh, what life has been for me uh, with living with a working artist is that, um, if I ever needed help with uh, art in class, he would uh he, he um you would get help immediately because it's his it's his career. With people that always they always come up to me like, oh your father's a really good artist, so that's a good benefit. When I was in elementary school, my um my school they planned a class trip into my house to ha to look into my father's uh gallery in, in in the house because uh, we used to have gallery shows and I remember I used to be a, a, a waiter so it's it's been even though it, it even though it has some ups and downs to it it's been uh, mostly a, a good a good time having uh, art living with artists but like you know how how sometimes Picasso he had different types of art, but he had it all brushed together in one period. But my father, it's a different story. My father, he is uh, is different. It's different all the time, so it, it surprises you every time. It's not just he just doesn't have one specific way of doing his art. It's he's he dips himself into all other types of art. So you see a lot of um, paintings of. Uh, like cultural things. Um, a lot of African American, um, traditional, the clothing that they see. Um, a lot of their distinct features. A lot of their features are very distinct in um, the hair texture, um, the color of their skin, uh, and then. Even with my father being a minister, um, he does a lot of artwork um, that will express um, 
I don't want to say religion, but um, like I want to say it the right way. Um, Christ like expressed um, his feelings toward Christ, um, his passion toward it. Wow, I've learned a lot living with an artist. But um, one thing I do know for sure, actually four things I do know for sure, is first you have to have Yahweh, definitely. Second, you have to have patience, and I mean a whole lot of patience. And you have to have understanding and definitely love. The other thing is um, he likes to collect things. Uh, sometimes I don't understand why, and I still up to now, you know, hope he doesn't do it this summer, but usually when it's nice outside and there's bulk days, um, he has a tendency of thinking um, that there's a treat outside for him. And uh, when we're driving or if we're going somewhere, he stops, he looks, he research, he takes, he puts in the back of the car, and we're gone. And we're like, where are we going with all this stuff? And um, he puts everything in the garage. His, as years went on, his artwork started to change. And things that I say were really nice and I would like it, he would say, I don't like it. And then a really nice piece you take and he will paint over it and redo it again. And I'm like, but it was a nice piece, you know? And I would get so angry because I would really like it. And he was like, no, no, it might have been something about it. And, you know, I'm like, but that was a nice piece, you know? You could sell that. We can make money off of that, you know? And then, um, then as you, I kept looking at the art, I'm from Ethiopia, so um, our art is a little similar to, um, like, like the Haitians have their colorful art, we have ours as well, and he's half Haitian. And um, one of the paintings that he did, it reminded me of my, my country, my culture. Um, the way, you know, the art, the people are, the backgrounds, and I'm like, wow, you know, you've never been there and you can kind of see some of your gifts, you know, some of the things that you're painting is from there. And um, recently, one of the murals that he did, you know, I told him, I said, wow, you know, it's very powerful um, because it reminds me a lot of um, my culture too, um, and the way it was, it was just something unique. But overall, you know, his artwork is very unique. He's very gifted. He's very talented. Um, every year it gets better, you know, and it changes um, one way or another. I was ordained under Bet Hashem Yahweh Worldwide Ministries, and I was uh, the first convert in Bishop Purnell's ministry, and uh, built with him side by side from the very beginning. I'm an artist, a graphic designer, an illustrator, a musician, a husband, a father, but above all, I'm a son of Yahweh, and this is my story.